Hey, what's up everybody? It's Crystal. This is the second K-pop top list. Uh, this one has to do with a lot of my viewers want me to react to the What's Up teaser uh, for the group What's Up, who are the apparently twerking girls. That's their apparently so original theme uh, K-pop group that are coming out and debuting soon. And uh, I'm just saying right now, I'm not going to do a reaction to the teaser. I'm not going to do a reaction to the music video. Um, even though I know it'll probably get a ton of views. Um, but those views don't mean nothing to me, uh, to be honest. Because I don't, I don't want to promote these girls. <laughs> I really don't. And it's not because I'm, I'm no holy roller. I'm no goody two-shoes type guy. But there's reasons I, I listen to K-pop, and I, I enjoy the K-pop genre so much. And I talked about them in the first Crystal uh, K-pop top list, and a lot of people felt the same way. And it's, you know, even though there's a sexy provocativeness to some of the uh, some of the uh, videos and stuff that come out, and some of the groups, they're still classy. You know, it's still classy type of sexy you know, and, and stuff like that. This is just straight slutty. And if they wanted to release this like in America or something, it would work or it would work or be a splash in the pan and they'd have their little fame for a little bit, but it don't have its place in, in just K pop. It just don't like I said, maybe in the Korean hip hop scene, fine, cool, whatever. But when I seen this come across all K pop, it just it like threw me for a loop and I was like, are you fucking kidding me? I was like, are you serious? Because like a month ago, uh, JRE made this funny video about twerking and K-pop. And then right after that, like uh, a day or two later, uh, Mr. Popo copied that and made that disturbing twerking video for K-pop. Uh, but I mean, those were all jokes. Those were all meant to make the people laugh. And it did. Uh, I don't know, Mr. Puffos didn't make me laugh. It made me a little disturbed. I had to, a little, I had to shut it off. <laughs> but um, it it was meant to be funny. You know what I mean? But then when this came out, and apparently it's been in the works for three years, which I highly doubt, and they said it's an original concept from Mafia Entertainment and Sony uh, Music Korea, I was just like, are you? F I, I it don't make sense to me uh, why they're marketing this as K-pop. It it just don't, it, and it's not original. I mean, people have been doing it on YouTube for however long now. So they stole an i they stole an idea off of YouTube, and they decided, hey, this could be the next thing. I don't even know if these girls are Korean. I don't even know if Mafia, what what is it? Mafia Records is even a Korean production company. Sounds like something out of L.A. or something, and like it's just like, hey, we got a we got a concept. Let's let's get like Korean girls together and go like take the Korean uh, pop scene by storm, you know. But it's just ridiculous how they gotta market something as original. It's just it's it's so annoying anymore. Like Hollywood, something original comes by, everybody copies it the next year. Next year, everything's copied off that same concept. Music, something original comes by. Everybody has that in their songs because they can't. They don't, they're too afraid to take you know steps to be original. YouTube, same thing. You see a concept, people copy it within days. You see clones of it all over the internet. It's ridiculous. People are too afraid to take a step in this current society, and it's ridiculous. It's like. But when they do take a step and people see that it's freaking original, then all of a sudden, ooh, I'm going to copy that because that person's getting a ton of views because of that. It's stupid. And uh, they're just doing this to sell sell their freaking companies, man. They're whoring these girls out to sell their companies. They're, those two companies are like pimps. And they're using these poor girls because they're sexy to get promotion for their company. That's why I'm not promoting them, man. I'm not promoting them, I'm not promoting these companies. I'm just not. Maybe their next promotion, when it may, may be more realistic and maybe more uh, along the lines of actual K-pop, 
then maybe I'll listen to them. Maybe I'll do reaction videos to them, but not this one because this has no place, in my personal opinion, in K-pop. So I'm sorry, you know, but I'm not going to do some fake reaction or, you know, while out to a reaction because girls are bouncing their asses. I'm just not going to do it because I see that shit over here in America all the time. And to be honest, <laughs> it's not new to me. It's not new to me, and it's it's really not attractive, to be honest. You know, sl <laughs> sluts are fun and everything, but uh, I've dated plenty of them and just not into them anymore. So, and this just doesn't have a place in K-pop. So, sorry for everyone that wanted me to see or wanted to see me react to What's Up, but... Like I said, maybe their next promotion, maybe when it's more realistic, I'll I'll react to them. But that's about all I have. So uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.